All right, so this letter had come to my attention, and the short of it is that they had decided 3D printing is now illegal, and they're going to start raiding people or places. It doesn't even really matter what it means, because I'm pretty sure this is fake. Now, give me a second to explain to you why I think this, so you can draw your own conclusions. I'm not an expert. I don't know for a fact if it is fake or if it is not fake, but let me just go over why I think that. I'll put the letter in question right here to my left, and then I'll put other letters you can compare it against alongside of it. And let's look at a couple of different things here. Number one, the letterhead. That's not what the letterhead looks like. It, they'll usually have like the name, the place, a bunch of other relevant information, as you can see in these other letters right here. Notice how this letterhead looks way different than any other official letterheads that I have posted. And I just pulled up random letters from random organizations. Number two, the date is not stamped. Notice in these other ones, the dates have been put on by some sort of stamper. This one is just wrote on there. Number three, way too colorful. That's just not what they look like. Yeah, they'll have some color in it, usually around their little watermark, sometimes, but usually they're photocopied off, so they're usually strictly in black and white. This has all types of color on it. Next one, the redacted information. The redacted information looks like it was done with a freaking iPhone. This is what redacted information looks like. This is not what redacted information looks like. Notice the big difference? It's too small. Way too small. That actually brings into the next point to the bullet points. So maybe if this was a part of a much, much, much larger memo, it would make sense for that size. But there's no, like, page 56 of 3 million or anything like that. The bullet points, the letter itself, is way too small. They never just have bullet points. They'll have a bullet point and then a freaking paragraph with penal codes and explaining why exactly they're doing what they're doing. Just simple bullet points like that? No, that's not how they work. And the whole thing is just way too small. It's never a single letter like that. It's a letter of like 15 pages or a part of like 30 some pages. And it'll have the page number written on there. It'll be like, this is page 15 of... Again, I'm not an expert. I don't have some sort of personal information guaranteeing this is a fake. And so very well may be real. But I feel quite confident this pile of dog crap right here was made up on somebody's computer. They did a little quick editing with their iPhone to make it look a little more realistic. And they're trying to scare people. I don't know why. Maybe it's some sort of scheme to get you to buy a bunch of 3D printing stuff, or maybe it's somebody that doesn't like 3D printing and they're trying to scare you to stop. But either which way, I feel confident this letter is a fake. If you come across it, don't worry about it. Thank you for watching. If like to help support the channel, got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Even if you don't buy what that link is for, just clicking on that link. And doing the Amazon shopping you're gonna do anyway, I know a kickback for it because you came there off my channel. And right there is my very first mistake. It's not the action I wanted, but it's the action I can get. Oh, that's real good. My house got broken into. It's not the action I wanted, but it's the action I can get. What a guy.